Pete, when you're uh, when you're on one of these tears, one of these home run tears specifically, what, what whether it's feel or, or approach, what are you doing particularly well? Um, I mean, it's uh, it's honestly just not not giving in and just staying confident and uh, and trusting myself in what I'm seeing and, and letting pitchers uh, come to my zone and not necessarily try and force anything. Um, I think I'm doing a really good job of, of not giving in, not not necessarily just because I'm pitchers may throw strikes doesn't mean they may, they may not be drivable or something I can handle. So uh, for me, I've been doing a really good job, uh, especially the past few games of, of staying in my area and then capitalizing on stuff when it is there. How much better do you think you've gotten at that particular skill set from day one in the big leagues to where you are right now? Um, I mean, I, I'd like to think I, I've gotten better as uh, as the more time I've, I've been a big leaguer. I feel like that uh, my ability to to make adjustments and and self evaluate's been pretty good. But again, like it's a long season. I mean, I'm I'm really I'm really happy with the way I've been playing the past few few days. But again, it's a long season. I want to be able to uh, capitalize and be the best I can as as many as many games as I can be. Is there, is there, I know the season is a long season, and a long process at that, but, but was there an at bat in Milwaukee where it felt like something clicked? Was it the opposite field home run? Um, no, I mean it's just. Um, I mean, you can't really point it out to one thing. I mean, it, it felt really good. Um, like me at the plate, I, I, I felt good this entire way. Sometimes, sometimes you get beat. I mean, the other the other guy um, on the other side, he gets paid to get me out, and for me, I I get paid to get a hit off him. So um, sometimes in the big leagues, it's it's really hard. Uh, even though you feel good, you feel nice. You, I have I'm really really happy how I've stuck to my process and. Um, uh, yeah, really pleased with that. Pete, what's going through your mind right before the homer? There's all that co- confusion about the mound visits and whatnot, and delay a game there. What's going through your mind to stay locked in? Um, just whenever, whenever we get the game going, just see a pitch in my area, and uh, if if it's there, don't miss it. Stay as quick and efficient to the baseball as possible. So, um, yeah, I mean, also before before that, Francisco had a hell of an at bat. Uh, just just grinding grinding out uh, getting that two strike hit that was that was absolutely huge for us and then um, I, I think Eduardo's at bat uh, that that homer was was sick I mean that that really that really put us over the top today and like I think he was feeling really feeling really good uh, he's having great at bats but uh, for that ball to go over the wall for not just for him it was it was obviously good for him but uh, huge for us as a team so uh, great at bats up and down the lineup again today so it was, it was great. We know how popular Eduardo is in this room. So, I mean, you mentioned it was big for the team. Just what was, what was the feeling in that dugout, and, and you know, just watching how excited he was, obviously, when that cleared the fence. Well, I mean, yeah, he's he's just a, he's a special individual in the best way possible. I mean, he's a, he's a great teammate and a great human being. And um, I mean, for he's been playing unreal defense for us. He's been impacting the game in a huge way, which I feel like has gone a little unnoticed because he's been so good defensively over there. That's that's really saved a lot of runs for us defensively. And for him to come through and, and kind of um, put the dagger in the heart, I mean, that was that was huge for us. So for him to to start feeling better and, and really get in there. It was awesome. I mean, I thought we did a great job up and down the lineup, grinding at bats and uh, getting the starter out uh, in a, relatively early in the ball game. Uh, to you, what's been the most impressive part of how could I adapt to the um, I mean, his English is getting better every day, and he's he's been embracing not just uh, the American lifestyle and culture, but he's embracing uh, every single guy on this team. And it, it's been really special to see because – um, I mean, he's, he said he's, he's, I mean, it's, it's different. I mean, he's got um, all of his family back over at home and for him to, to perform the way he has and for him to have the poise and discipline and, and for him to execute the way he has, it's, it's really special. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine what, what he's going through because you can only experience it by doing. So um, what he's been able to do has been really special. And I, I just, it's, it's been really fun to watch. Oh, it's sick! When they had the the Senga and the in the in the Ghost logo up there, I thought I thought that was sick and um, super well deserved because I mean he's a, he's got something that's extremely unique and I mean I mean he's nasty today. He's nasty in his first start, and I just wanted to keep being being great for us.